Hi. Before you do the activity today, I just wanted to make sure you know to check with your parents about which plastic bags are okay to use in your house. You should be really careful because with coronavirus right now, one of the ways that it can be transmitted from one person to another is after they touch something like plastic. So if you brought home a plastic bag or you got a plastic bag for a takeout order of food, you want to make sure that you leave that plastic bag somewhere where you are not touching it for at least 10 days so that coronavirus germs can die before you would use that plastic bag. So just check with your parents first and they can probably help you find some plastic bags in your house that nobody has touched for a couple of weeks. And that's the safest way to do this activity right now. It's also a good way to make sure that you're using plastic bags that are not important to somebody for some reason. So just check in with your parents first and then you can follow along for the activity with me. Welcome back to my living room. My name is Rachel and I work at Strong Women, Strong Girls. And I thought that today we could do an activity with plastic bags and think about a way that we could reuse plastic bags like Isabel and Malati Witchson did in Bali. So you can follow along with the instructions that are online, but I'm gonna show you how I did the activity myself. All you need for this activity are plastic bags. You might have some around your house that you can use. So this is one that I got from CVS when I probably want to pick up something that I needed, maybe toilet paper or paper towels, when I forgot my reusable bag. And this is another bag that I have that I got when somebody sent me a little gift, they put it inside this bag and put it in my mailbox so it wouldn't get wet. And so today I thought I could reuse both of these bags and make them into a little craft. So all you need are plastic bags and a pair of scissors. And you can ask an adult to help you with the scissors if it's a little tricky. So what I did is I cut out the plastic bag and I kept the loop on there because I thought it might be a little helpful for me as I braided a bracelet. And this is just one way that you can reuse your plastic, but there are some other creative ways that I bet you can think of. So after you've cut out the piece and you've got your loop, then I cut it into three strips because I'm gonna make a braid. So this is what it will look like. See how there are three strips there. Now, I thought it would be fun if my bracelet had two different colors in it. So I also did the same thing with my black bag and I cut it out and I included the handle and then I cut it into three strips. And I'll show you what I did. I tied it to the end of my chair so it would be easy for me to braid. So you can see I have Actually, I have six strips here. I have three white and three black. But I can hold them in three pieces. So each piece in my hand has white and it has black in it. But you can do this whatever way you want to. You can do it with just one color. You can do it with more colors than two, however you'd like. I just thought I would do it with two colors to start. And so I'm gonna braid these together crossing the one from the outside into the center, from the left outside into the center, and then from the right outside into the center. And you can take as long as you would like to, to do this, and you can also restart. If you don't like how it's going, you can undo your braid and start again. I have been doing braids in my hair for a long time, so I can braid pretty fast. And I bet some of you can braid even faster than I can. And when you're done, 
you can tie your pieces together. And if you need to get help from somebody, you can ask for help. The only other thing that's awake in my house right now is my cat. So my cat can't really help me. So I'm going to do it myself. And I am done now. I've made a bracelet out of my plastic bags. And that's what it looks like with the nice braid. And it has both of the colors in it. So that was one fun way to reuse a plastic bag. And I bet you can think of lots of other fun ways too. Thank you for joining me in my living room today for this activity. Have a great day.